you can take this physics practical notebook either from the publisher or ilmi book depo urdu bazar lahore or free downloading from my website experiment 12 in the practical notebook left side page of same experiment today we will perform our new experiment the name of the experiment is to determine the frequency of alternating current using maldi's apparatus to determine the frequency of the alternating current the apparatus which we need for this experimentation it is known as maldi's apparatus the main components which we will use in our experimentation this is maldi's apparatus this is known as electromagnet this is a permanent magnet it is an oscillator it is a source of an alternating current this 22 220 volts so now i am going to perform our experimentation to determine the frequency of the alternating current with the help of this valley separators step 1 is we will fix our separators with the help of this g clamp like this one then we'll check that uh, this ac is coming or not because our objective is we want to determine the frequency of the alternating current using maldi's apparatus so this apparatus is known as a maldi's apparatus this is an electromagnet this is an permanent magnet it is a steam wire which is basically oscillating the oscillation of this wire is you know that linked with the concept of the magnetization because this electromagnet is attached with an alternating current which is basically obeying the sine wave so because of that current this steel wire will magnetize this is a permanent magnet having two poles north pole and south pole because the oscillation of the steel wire means the magnetization of the steel wire is linked with an oscillating current so the oscillations of the steel having different polarity of the magnetizations will produce an oscillation so step 1 that we will fix our apparatus with the help of the g clamp then we we'll check that uh, is main is coming on okay dear students now we are going to perform our experiment with the help of this maldi's apparatus we will use a thread which is known as a string and the tie the one end of the thread with the with the one end of the steel rod and we will take at least one or two approximately long thread 1 meter 2 meter and this is the thread the second end of this thread will be passed over this pulley it is fixed on the stand and the end of this thread will be attached with this hanger having weights the mass of this hanger is 50 grams so this is a way in which we are going to set our apparatus to calculate the frequency of the alter dating plot check it's working i am going to on the switch
Okay, my dear students, now we are performing our experiment or we'll take our observations. After setting our apparatus like this one, now we will switch on this person and observe the number of loops in this string, either they are sharp or not. So we have two parameters by which we can control the sharpness of these loops which are basically shows the static wave. First is by change of the length of the string. By increasing or decreasing you can make it sharp, keeping tension constant. The second way is when the length is remains constant, so with the increase of the tension in the string you can also adjust the number of loops of the string like this one. So I am increasing the tension in the string to observe the effect of this tension on the number of loops. So you can see it as I am increasing the tension in the string, the number of loops are decreasing. With further increase of tension, let me check it please. Yes. So you can see the difference between by increasing the tension when length is remains constant, loops are decreasing and the amplitude of oscillation that is increasing. So this is the increase of the amplitude of the oscillation. So this is known as standing wave. It is the first mode of oscillation because we are just observing one loop in the string. So now we will calculate the results and for this purpose first we will measure the distance between these two knobs with the help of the meter rod and the second one will measure the amount of the tension in the string with the help of uh, the formula the tension is the product of mass and the gravitational acceleration so I am switch off the button step one is with the help of this meter rod I am wiring distance between these two knobs so it is 97 point something 0.5 centimeter and what is the mass of the hangers 50 plus 50 plus 50 because the mass of the each piece you can see it, it is mentioned over here it is written on each piece that is 50 grams. 50 plus 50 and the mass of this angle is also 50. So 150 gram is the mass. Total mass which we hand along this string. So now we are going to perform calculate our results. So we will use the table of observations and calculation. Okay. So after performance now we are going to calculate our results so we have some observations which are linked with the experiment for example the first one the length of a string that was taken as 500 cm then we measured the mass of the string with the help of the digital string balance it was 1.1 kilos of grams we need this small m what is small m the small m is the mass per unit length so by dividing mass of the string with the length of the string the answer is 2.2 10 to the minus 3 grams per centimeter so in our table of observation our first observation means number of loops which form during our experimentation that was four. distance between the string nodes that was 97.5 centimeter the length of the each loop was small m was equal to capital L over small p. What is capital L? If for the distance between the string north and the small p, there is number of loop. The answer is 24.37. Total mass with anger which we hand that was 60s of gram. These are just post readings. Tensions that was measured in dynes. We have measured this 60 with 980. The answer is equal to 5 double eight six zero for dynes. So this is a formula which we will use in our experimentation to calculate the frequency of the auto return 
So what is small f? Small f is the frequency that is equal to 1 over 2 times of L, square root of T over M. T is the tension stream and what is small m is small m mean mass per unit. So by putting the values of the length of each loop tension in the stream and the mass per length, the answer to that is equal to 1, 0, 4.75. So our second and third observation, you can increase the tension in the stream or you can change the length of the stream. So you will take two, three observations and then you will find out the mean frequency. Let me suppose that the mean frequency is equal to 1, 0, 3.1. For transverse mode of arrangement, because you can see there we need a transverse wave, we want to calculate the frequency, so that is equal to 1, 0, 3.1 over 2. So the answer is 51.5. So you know that the correct value of the AC frequency it is 50 hertz. So the percentage error that is 3. So this is a way and calculation with the help of Mali's operators. How can you calculate in your lab the approximate frequency of the alternating ground? The other complete observations of this experiment is also present in your practical work. During your performance, we have some precautions to perform this experiment. The first thing is that uh, the source voltage, it must be 220 volt. If the voltage or the frequency is no 220 volt or low voltage, either maybe you will not, can, you cannot see the oscillations of the string. Second one, this oscillator must be oscillating free. If it is not oscillating free like this one, you can see it. If it is not oscillating, so you can't measure the frequency of the oscillation and that can produce a sources of the air. Similarly, while adjusting your apparatus, the ends of these loop, they must be sharp. This is, this is basically a source of error. It must be sharp like this one. Another source of error is the sharpness of the nodes. Like this when you can see it. I am just making two loops by the adjustment of the tension by my hand on the string. You can see that like this one. So these points, these nodes must be sharp. This is a wrong way. This is basically an error. This is a correct way. So while handling of the separators and by adjustment of the separators, you clearly cut shows the formation of nodes and the antinodes. And for precaution, the amplitude of the oscillations of these nodes while adjustment, they must be maximum by this So these are some precautionary measurements during experimentation in order to measure the frequency of AC with the help of these smell these operators. Thanks. You can take this book from the store or free downloading from my website. These readings are given as a reference. Your readings may be different from these readings.